Australia, a country full of aquatic and terrestrial life, it is home to a variety of plants and animals that have adapted to the different conditions. Over 80% of the animals are unique to Australia and cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Australia's most iconic biome is the desert ecosystem. Known for its kangaroos and dingoes, the desert biome is a system of plants and animals that have adapted to the harsh conditions of the outback. The Australian outback in the Northern Territory has two different climates. The Darwin climate is tropical with high humidity and a wet season from October to April and a dry season from May to September. The central region climate is the desert climate with very little rainfall and the hottest months from October to March. Soil erosion is a large problem in the Northern Territory of Australia due to topsoil being washed away by water. This causes a loss of vegetation, an increase in the turbidity of waterways, and a decrease in soil fertility. The soil is rocky, low in nutrients, and slightly acidic, so it doesn't have the capabilities of agricultural development. Some of the animals that live in the Northern Territory are dingoes, freshwater and saltwater crocodiles, kangaroos, wombats, billabies, insects, and various types of snakes and lizards. The producers in the Northern Territory are small shrubs and short desert grasses. Water is not always available in the outback, so herbivores have adapted to the situation by being able to survive long periods of time without water. Red kangaroos eat early in the morning when there is dew on the plants as a source of water. Wombats get the water they need by storing their food in burrows where the air is humid. The food absorbs the humid air so that when the wombats eat their food, they get water as well. A keystone species in the outback is a dingo. Dingoes are wild dogs that either live alone or hunt in packs. They hunt small game such as wombats, kangaroos, birds, and lizards, and they also eat fruits and plants. Because they eat so many different kinds of animals, they have many different roles in the food chains. Dingoes have also evolved to survive in this region. The fur of the dingo's coat is largely determined by where it lives. A standard coat color is ginger with white feet, but in the desert areas, their fur is golden yellow. Desert dingoes are also smaller and more compact, and their coats are double layered with a thick undercoat to insulate them from both extreme heat and cold weather. Their bottle-shaped tails help them to balance, and their large heads and narrow chest and shoulders and proportionate body make them successful hunters. Human contributions to global warming have greatly changed the habitats for animals in Kakadu Park. Over the past 50 years, saltwater intrusion has caused the tidal range of creeks to move 400 kilometers inland to the East Alligator River catchment, which resulted in an increase of saline mudflats that killed two-thirds of the Melalakua forest. This forest was an important resting spot for many water birds and used to be used for spawning by aquatic animals. Another environmental problem caused by humans is the introduction of the cane toad in June 1935. The toad was brought from Hawaii by the Bureau of Sugar Experiment Stations because it was intended to control the native cane beetle which was harmful to the sugar cane plantations in Australia. This toad population rapidly increased and spread from Queensland to New South Wales and to the Northern Territory. The population is now estimated to be over 200 million, and these toads migrate about 25 miles per year. These poisonous toads have decreased the biodiversity in Northern Territory ecosystems. In local areas, the population of the Varanus panopes decreased by 90% once it was invaded by the cane toads. There has also been a decline in the populations of the Northern Qual. Clearing land for agricultural purposes is also a cause for the decreased biodiversity in the Northern Territory. 17 million hectares of land have been cleared since 1973. Urban development also serves as an aspect of the country that will further increase the clearing of natural environments. The Northern Qual is an endangered northern native cat. 
It is a carnivorous marsupial that is now only found in the Northern Territory and Cape York, Australia. The cane toad population is blamed for the reduction of this animal's population because they compete for the quoll's food and shelter. The quolls also die from the toad's fatal poison when they try to eat them. Scientists at the University of Sydney are trying to teach quolls not to eat the toads by putting a chemical into the toads that makes the quolls feel nauseated, thus discouraging them from eating the toad. The Tasmanian devil is another endangered carnivorous marsupial. It has the most powerful bite of any animal in the world, measured by the power of the bite per unit of body mass. In 1941, there was a law established to protect these animals from hunters, but the Tasmanian devil population is threatened by the devil facial tumor disease. This disease is a genetic trait that causes tumors to grow around the animal's mouth and inhibit the animal's ability to eat, thus starving the animal to death. Devil facial tumor disease has affected between 50 to 90 percent of the Tasmanian devil population. Here are some animals in the Australian outback food web. Dingoes are carnivorous scavengers. They eat red kangaroos, wombats, bilbies, and lizards. Wedge-tailed eagles eat small kangaroos, wombats, bilbies, and lizards. Frillneck lizards and bilbies eat bulldog ants. Bulldog ants eat wood white butterflies. Desert plants are producers and are eaten by kangaroos, wombats, bilbies, butterflies, and bulldog ants. The Australian outback is a biome that is home to a diversity of plants and animals. Many of the plants and animals are unique to Australia and it is important that we protect them from becoming extinct.